Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and welcome to another Top 10 Tuesday. Uh, this week I am doing my Top 10 uh, films that do they or do not belong in a horror collection. Now, everyone's horror collection is all different. Um, you're going to have films that you think are horror, to others they may not be. Uh, or when people come in the over, they look at your collection and they're like, why is that movie in there? So I went through my collection, I fig figured, let's go with these top ten here. <clears throat> and uh, these are all in my collection. Some people might think, it doesn't belong in there, you know what, it's mine, I do whatever I want. <laughs> but there's a reason why they're in my horror collection. So, without further ado, let's get on with the list. Now, if you think these belong in there, let me know. Again, they're in mine. Um, if there's films that you think you have in your horror collection that are people think you're not, let me hear your thoughts. Like, what what do you got going in yours? All right, guys. Number 10. It's Black Swan. Uh, Black Swan is more of a dark thriller, but it's got that lot of horror tendencies going on about a uh, ballerina and the other ballerinas trying to fight for positioning and everything. It's a very dark flick. Um, the things that she does. <laughs> it's really cool on how someone's acting that is. With um, Maida Kunis being the, I think she was the she was the black, the black uh, swan here. But it was really cool how how it all plays out. So I put this in my horror collection. I think it fits well into it. Like some people might not put it in there. Yeah, teach their own. Number nine is the curve. Uh, the curve. Uh, it's from the 90s. Um, I remember seeing the like trailers for it, and like, always caught my eye. So I picked it up. And it's pretty much about uh, these college friends. One of them commits suicide. <laughs> and, of course, they figured, well, whoever in their group commits suicide, they can all get A's. Well, <clears throat> it's got a very twist ending. It's very slow burn, but I thought it pays off pretty well. Uh, it's got, like, that Hitchcock theme to it. Uh, for some people, they may not put it in their horror collection. Uh, again, this one is in mine. I thought it was pretty cool on how everything plays out. Uh, some things were kind of, eh, you didn't really need that in there. But I thought the curve was pretty cool. Number eight is uh, Pitch Black. Uh, Pitch Black, people probably say, you know, it's more sci-fi than horror. Well, again, you have a bunch of people stranded on a planet. Their spaceship crashes on this. Uh, and, of course, the, inhabited is, uh, the planet is inhabited by these monsters. These monsters can only come out at night. And, of course, when they land, there's a total eclipse. They're encased in darkness for quite some time. And they have to fight for survival. I like it. Um, there is the sequel, which is The Chronicles. I don't own it. That's it was more action and sci-fi than horror to me, but the third one, uh, I think it's just called Riddick. That's got a lot of horror to it too, because it does have monsters in it. So you can pick and choose who what you want to do with your uh, Pitch Black trilogy or quadology, if you want to call it, with the anime, which you still got to grab. And uh, so it's up to you on that. To me, I put specifically Pitch Black and Riddick in my horror collection. Because they have those monster tendencies to it. I love the way the monsters look in this. Number seven. Uh, it's more of another thriller. But it's a classic thriller. And I think that's perfect for uh, the horror collection. And that is Basic Instinct. Had to find the one with the whole ice pick pen. And uh, encased in ice edition. It doesn't say anything on the side. But it just looks really cool looking. There's this clear case. A lot of people know what Basic Instinct is. I think there's a sequel that was like a made direct to TV. Haven't seen it or anything. But I love Basic Instinct. Um, again, it's got a lot of horror tendencies to it. So a lot of people may not put this in their collection. But me personally, it is in mine. Uh, again, I had to go for this edition. Here, there's other editions out there. But for collector's edition, yeah. Had to get Basic Instinct in the ice. Number six. It's in mine, and that's the Ghostbusters. I put one and two in there. I even had the remake in my horror collection. 
it's more of a comedy, yes. It's got a lot of comedy issues. But it also deals with ghosts. And it's kind of like, well, I could put this in my comedy section. I could put it in my horror collection. I know a lot of people put theirs in their horror. And I know a lot of people put them in their comedy. It's all pretty much up to you. If you want to do that or not, it's whatever. But again, you've got guys fighting ghosts. There's some possession going on. Uh, evil gods. The frickin' demon dogs are scary as hell. Love it. So, it's up to you. But again, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, hit or miss, in a collection or not, had to be on the list. Had to be. Number 5. I'm going to go a little bit of an anime type style, based on a comic, and that is Lady Death. Lady Death, tragic how she becomes Lady Death, but a lot of horror to it, where... The devil comes up, kills her loved one. No, captures her loved one, brings him to hell. She gets sent to hell and to basically love the devil. Well, she fights back and now she is stuck in hell. She now has to kill the devil to save the loved one. Of course, she now starts building an army to fight with her to stop evil. And now she has to go after all these souls. <clears throat> Great anime. It's based on a comic book. But the anime is solid on this, so I had to put this in my horror collection. Again, some people might just put this in anime, they might put it someplace else in action, but it has a lot of horror to it, so Lady Death, absolutely. Number four. Um, I saw this in the theater, loved it, and it is called Congo. Congo, again, people may say this is more action than horror, then you have a bunch of killer apes running around killing people. They're off to the lost city of Zin, looking for diamonds. While well, the other group is looking for their lost uh, loved one, sent in by an, ex an expedition team. And of course, together, they're trying to save everybody. But of course, now they're trying to set fight for survival against killer apes. Has to go in the collection because it's a killer ape movie. Um, I guess it has all the action to it. But again, love it. Pretty cool flick. Number three. I uh, definitely had this in mind. <clears throat> Some people may not put it in theirs, but that is Outbreak. This movie scared the shit out of me when I saw this. Mm -hmm. If you're a germaphobe, this will freak you out. Especially like the movie theater scene where the one guy who... Um, he was centrifuging a bunch of blood. He gets contaminated through the centrifuge. And uh, this blood disease, now he's in a movie theater. He coughs. And, of course, you see the particles flying everywhere, landing on people, landing on their popcorn, landing or eating it. And you start seeing this disease starting to spread through this monk that was done through a monkey blood. And you can just see the horror of this disease being spread through the world, through the United States. And now it's up to a bunch of teams trying to stop this plague, this epi epidemic. So it does have a lot of horror, not much horror to it, but the storyline is very horrific. So I put that in my horror collection just because, just the way how it plays out. It's got that cool, like, government conspiracy, it's got uh, disease, everything to it. So, yeah, I'll, I'll break hit or miss for some people. It's up to you. Number two, um, again, Deliverance. Uh, Deliverance has a lot of horror to it. It has a lot of action to it and whatnot. Bunch of, I think they were doctors. They go backwoods camping and whatnot. And of course, they <laughs> run into some backwoods folk, you know. It's a backwoods folk type film. Fight for survival, all that stuff. It's got a lot of horror to it as well. Had a, I bought it, put it in my horror collection just because Deliverance is pretty freaky when you watch it. Again, some people will not put this in their collection because they think uh, it's more towards other areas. But again, up to you. And my number one. I've had some conversations about these films, uh, some arguments and whatnot. Everyone's different. Um, but to me, this is a very horror film, and that is, of course, Jurassic Park. Uh, Jurassic Park, a lot of people think oh, it's all action goes in the action area you don't have to worry about it I'm like it's got dinosaurs eating people that's very horrific 
You got the scientists building dinosaurs, you know, doing everything on Earth on a small little island. And of course, people come to it. All hell breaks loose. The dinosaurs are loose. They're running and eating people. Come on, how scary is that? <laughs> Put yourself in that situation. Are you finding yourself gun-toting, you know, shooting up everything, all action? No, you're running for your life. You're getting scared shitless by T-Rexes and Velociraptors and all our shit down here. So I have the Jurassic Park films in my horror collection. I know a couple people who are like, it's all action! No, it's not. So guys, that is my top ten list for top ten movies that can be in a horror collection or they cannot be in a horror collection. It's pretty much up to you on where you put yours. For me again, mine go in my collection here. I'm happy to have them in here. There's none like, you know, ooh, why would I have that in there? No. They're all great to be in the collection, and that's how it plays out. Some people might say no. Some people say yes. It's all up to you. So, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this list. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If there's some films that you think are horror and other people don't, put them down below, too. Let's see what we got. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching, and have yourself a good one. Peace.